this is scheduled for one fall. Coming to the ring with Paula Ba from Los Angeles, California, TJB. Well, Sue Young is back. What the hell does that mean? Uh, it's not good. That's all I'll say, not good. Stay tuned, folks, as we turn our attention to what's about to happen inside the ring, a match that we have been looking forward to for seven nights, TJP, former X Division champion, gonna go one-on-one -on -one with Vikingo, who's been on a roll since Impact came here to Mexico City. We'll explain more in just a second. Representando a Triple A de Puebla, México. Campeón de tercias de Triple A. Con ustedes, el hijo del Vikingo. Last week, Vikingo defeated. Josh Alexander, one half of the World Tag Team Champions. Here's a man who in 2019 won the Antonio Pena Cup, a trios champion in AAA with Octagon Jr. and Mysticist Jr. A future star of AAA. Perhaps you could take the word future out of that. A current star for AAA. Was injured on the second half of 2019 has hit the ground running here in 2020. A lot of buzz about the Kingo all over the world, Josh. Can use the ring, the ropes, just about as good as anyone wrestling in the world today. TJP, he's not gonna get caught up in the resume or the limelights of the Kingo. TJP will come correct with his offense here tonight. TJP. As I mentioned, former X Division champion, also a former Cruiserweight champion in WWE. He's traveled all around the world. Vikingo up to the top rope. That was quick, wasn't it? Yeah, TJP looked like he was trying to pull him down, but too much balance by Vikingo. You know, when you look at these two down, TJP obviously with the height advantage. Yeah, I'd say a power advantage too. Shoulder tackle there by TJP. Vikingo, nice takedown there. TJP toyed with the idea of accepting the offer that he got from Bellator to compete in mixed martial arts. Great head scissor takeover there by TJP. So fluid inside the ring and Vikingo in control. TJP rolls inside. Watch the handstand of TJP and perhaps see how quickly he can escape this hold from Vikingo. Big night here, Impact Wrestling in Mexico City. Shoulders down. And the king go quickly in the guard of TJP. Our main event tonight, Ace Austin versus Tommy Dreamer. In a street fight where everyone's banned from ringside. Look at this. This is impressive. They're slapping each other. Whoop, the Kingo misses wildly. Blocked, blocked, double jump kicks. Nip ups. Wow. That's athleticism. See it every week here, folks, on Impact Wrestling. Get the feeling down that people all over the world right now are Googling the Kingo to I see what he's so. done in his career. Trending. Shot there by TJP. Cannot believe that Sue Young is back. And what was Rosemary thinking? God knows. The Kingo waiting, catches the feet from TJP, but the head scissors still effective. Tessa Blanchard defeated, Matt, defeated Adam Thornstow earlier tonight to set up our main event. Lots of good counters in this match. Oh, back and forth, they've gone. Oh! Big spear inside out. DJP, look at Vikingo! 
corkscrewed his way into a head scissors, and then the slide on the outside, TJP ducked, Vikingo catch with the boot. Future certainly bright for Vikingo in AAA. What's he doing here? I'd love to see more of an impact wrestling. Get the gift machine ready. Oh! Shooting star press off the apron onto the concrete. That I have not seen. Such athleticism. Watch this one more time, folks, from Vikingo off the apron. Shooting star press lands picture perfect into the midsection of TJP. Just awesome. You know, we haven't mentioned Fala Bao on the outside because we really haven't needed to in this match. No. I haven't felt the presence of Fala. We certainly know their friendship between Fala and TJP. That Kingo lands on his feet. He's got a low center of gravity, doesn't he? Oh! Saw TJP walking around this arena earlier today, taking pictures with all the great fans. He was up, way up in the uh, in the high seats here in Fronton, Mexico, talking to everybody. As he enters the ring, the cover and the kick out. This one can go either way, can't it? Oh, it can. Great scientific wrestling. TJP pulls by Kingo into the center of the ring. What submission maneuver will TJP bust out tonight? What was the idea of bringing the, the one leg up and trapping it there? You know what? I mean, he does so much innovative stuff. Like, I've not seen that before, but I guess it's to prevent the man from rolling away from the pressure. TJP lost control of the legs, and that's exactly what Vikingo was able to do. Snap mare. Vikingo landed on his feet. Blocked, holds onto the wrist. And Vikingo showing off his ingenuity. Wow, look at that. Look at the bow and arrow. TJP completely stretched out. And Vikingo. TJP looking for a cover here out of the submission by Vikingo. So many counters back and forth here. TJP. Watch the arm! The snap! Might have broken the arm! Of Vikingo, who's writhing in pain. TJP continues the attack on the arm, side leg sweep. Floats over into the cover, referee right there, shoulders down and a kick out. I think TJP wanted the referee a little bit quicker on that. Well, for sure. But how do you keep up with these two? Good point. Not an easy draw for a referee to ref this match. TJP continuing the attack on the shoulder of Vikingo. TJP looking for that kick. Ooh. Right into that shoulder again. TJP says, let's see what you have. And back and forth they go. He punched him right in the shoulder. The obvious question down is why does TJP go after the shoulder and not the legs of Vikingo? Well, that's what I'm wondering. Catches the leg. Vikingo, look at this! Cross arm breaker! Locked in! TJP! He's got to watch his shoulders and nice sliding the leg down in between his own legs. That was a unique counter to the cross arm breaker. TJP and Vikingo putting on a submission clinic here tonight. TJP lost control of the arm, but still has the legs, and Vikingo is spinning and spiraling and trying to make his way to the bottom rope. He's able to grab it. TJP forced to break before five. I don't think people realize down or appreciate how much energy you use, how exhausted you get after trading holds back and forth like that on the canvas, do they? Well, it takes a toll on your muscles and your joints as well if you're in the hole. 
And your mind, too, right? Because you're thinking, okay, what do I have to do next? What's he going to do next? And then what do I counter with that with? And they're both masters of human chess, if you will, in terms Ooh. of the submission game. From the submission game to the open hand chops quickly. Ooh. A lot of torque on that kick. TJP in the corner reversal. Vikingo builds up some speed. TJP is not going to give him a, a reprieve. Stays with him. Vikingo! Oh, wow. Snap the head back. Catch me if you can. Watch out now. You don't want to be on the floor with Vikingo up in the ring. Where's he going to go? All the way over! Incredible. That's got Mexico City in a frenzy. Vikingo went over the top rope, past the turnbuckle, over the steel post, and took out TJP. You miss on a move like that, you're in trouble. Not a lot of room for error, Josh. What's it gonna take to win this match? between these two warriors. Uh, Kingo hangs on, kicks out the leg of TJP. Has him sitting on the second rope. By Kingo. Oh! Nicely done. Drop the leg, and by Kingo is rolled. Oh no, a kick out by TJP. How long will Vikingo wait before he operates next? Such a different sport. You don't have time to huddle up after an incomplete pass. You have to keep going. Your opponent's coming at you. There's TJP. Look at this! Tombstone! Pile driver! What up top? TJP operating quickly. Sensing victory. There's the pump, the cover, shoulders down, and TJP is close. Now we ask the same question about TJP. How long will he sit and wait before he does his next series of moves? Got to pick your spot here, but he seems to have the Kingo on the ropes. Fala has got the best seat in the house. Here comes Vikingo. Came in quickly. Vikingo building up speed. Running knees into TJP. There's the cover and a kick out. Very close. Alaba cheering on his buddy, TJP. Vikingo going all the way up. TJP waited back on his feet in hot pursuit. TJP hops up to the top. Superflex. Heads on. Spins. Locked him up. Version of an octopus here done? Yeah. Like Kingo trying to power his way through the legs of TJP. Rope break. Wow. When you break this down, when you dissect this, TJP pops off the superplex, floats over. Thought he was gonna go for another one instead into the octopus, and then by Kingo and all that pain pushed through the legs of TJP. That Just was incredible. Phenomenal. Does Mike Kingo have much behind what he just threw? No. TJP seems the pressure wrestler right now. And if you didn't think so, look at that trifecta of moves. Oh, Kingo catches him in the air. By Kingo. TJP. And TJP. Wow, what into the a, what submission. By Kingo caught up. 
by Kingo taps out. That's it. CJP victorious. JP was looking for his signature maneuver. The detonator kick. Instead, oh, whoa, 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 what the hell are these two doing out here? It's Josh Alexander and Ethan Page, embarrassed by Vikingo last week. And the North, and TJP's not gonna let this happen. Page drops TJP. Now these guys just fought for, in a battle. Fala drew the line. And the North backing down. But message sent by the tag team champions. This match spoiled and ruined by the North.